Hello, Internet. And welcome back to Spiritfarer. I've been away for a while because I've been away for a while, at least on Sundays. And um, I'm not 100% sure, but my schedule may be getting shaken up a bit soonish. I'm not 100% sure on that. So, um, but that is later, and this is now. So, here we are. Welcome back. And uh, hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. It's quite warm here. Very bright and sunny and hot outside. And speaking of things being hot, I have a new gadget this week. I have a heated mug that will keep my tea warm throughout the stream. So, we'll see how it does. It's, it's kind of funny because when I first pour my tea, of course it's too hot to drink and it stays too hot to drink for even longer, <laughs> so it'll be a while till I can sip it, but it should stay nice and warm after that if all goes well, so that's fun. And I've got a beef stew in the slow cooker. It is, in fact, the stay a bed stew from the I Hate to Cook book by Peg Brackett, so. 1960s nostalgia, but it is actually quite good, especially if you don't hate cooking too much and you brown the meat a little first before you cook it. So it's uh, it's one of the great funny examples of her writing as she introduces the recipe, and it's it's actually a, a very good beef stew. So. Give it just a moment longer here. You can see the pretty sunset colors. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Controller still works. So here we are. I get to remember where everything is. Alright, so here are our quests. Bruce and Mickey want their house improved in all three ways. They need something big, something flashy, and something loud. Gustav needs his tuna tataki. I guess we have to give a corn dog and noodle soup to it as part of this quest. Improve Gustav's gallery with the vintage modernist desk. Vintage and modernist, okay. Gustav needs a desk in his office. He has heard of a master woodworker living in Oxbury but couldn't get in touch with him. Perhaps his partner would be in the I think we have the patterns for this. Talk to Gustav about the smithy. Beverly, we need to head to Oxford. We need silver ore for the next upgrade. And some bottled ectoplasm, which we haven't seen yet. Some limbs for size. Need to talk to a courier in Bottom Line Corp for this tomato shipping thing. And I still don't have any household glue for this Alt Harbor renovation. That's that. And we're also probably going to need some more tuna. Herring, mackerel. Oh, nope, we have a tuna. So once we can get ourselves a, a savory vegetable, we'll be good to go. Oh, she... Let's clean these off while we're here.
loads of cherries and apples from our trees. We got silk, pears. That looks like Beverly's house, which we just managed to build. And it's morning and we can get moving again. So let's see where we are. Okay, maybe we were chasing a tuna out here. So we can find Beverly by going back to Oxbury. Question is, do we want to go anywhere else along the way first? Still don't have all our movement abilities, so I don't quite want to go back to things like mines just for the purpose of going there. Apparently Susan's got something for us. But let's go ahead on back to Oxford. That's gonna be far side of the map. Harbor, south of the I've forgotten where everything is. Oxford. Yep, all the way over there. This, oh, silver dragon. You can get that silver ore. We got a meteor shower. We got ooh, olive seed. Yes, let's go back to the Oxbury area. Maybe swing by bottom line corp while we're at it. First, we should go to the bus stop. wants to talk to us, probably Gustav wants to talk about the smithy. Wonderful. Uh -huh. That was impressive, Skipper. You did really well for a neophyte. Hmm. You must have noticed that if your hammer runs too hot, letting it cool down without hitting the materials is a fair amount of uh -huh. It's a game of patience, precision, and vigor. Different materials will behave differently, but this you can be certain Oh, but I'm sure you must already be giddy with anticipation at the idea of forging new materials. Uh -huh. Well, despair not, my little grasshopper. A vast array of fine elements will be needed to build all I have in mind. Okay. Excellent. By the way, Gustav. Oh! Uh -huh. Lack of food on the vessel is quite depressing. I figured you'd probably want some breakfast. Soon. Your base. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Hug? Not in the middle. Very well. Uh, I'm gonna try in here. Yep, we've got an egg. Incubate another egg. We've got plenty of chickens. word, yes. Uh, I will help you out in a moment as soon as talk to Alex. Uh, let's go... Where's bottom line work? That's over there. Let's go to this bus stop. You can also swing by the turtle. Saving that for the party. How about apple pie? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have some other food in there. I feel like I've just eaten that. About cake. Mm -hmm. oh, this is way too sweet for me. I really don't want anything sweet. Like mm -hmm. that. Not a kid anymore, Stella. I won't take this. Sorry. Uh, grain salad? Thank you, Munchkin. something you might like, perhaps. Here's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such qualities. 
antique bust. Cool. Not a surprise. He's hungry as usual. So I did something about it. And he got some berries. Thank you, Atul. And I will also give you some great salad. And I will also give you the foods that you needed for the party. Wow, a corn dog. Good choice, boys. And this way I can be sure that I won't accidentally feed them to somebody. Zoop, way to go, Astrid. Okay. Seeds. All right, what shall I put here? Ooh, I have almost no quartz left. Let us put some quartz here. Zinc. Basically, looking at you know, what do I just not have? to bottom line court. I'm Vina. Hey, Peanut. You must have noticed it by now. But I'm not exactly welcome at Astrid's house anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, what can I say? It's not my fault that I'm irresistible. I'm born this way. Mm -hmm. Ladies like me, what can I do? Leave them alone? That would be terribly rude of me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. You don't need to give me that look. I get it. Mm -hmm. I probably would have done the same. Okay, maybe not exactly the same. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I... Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? Her loss. I won't come crawling. Mm -hmm. I'm above this type of behavior. That being said, mm -hmm. the deck is a bit frisky at night, though. I miss having at least a sofa to rest on. So do. Mm -hmm. Think, Giovanni, think. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bambina. Could I ask a favor? Just a teensy-weensy little thing for your favorite, Giovanni. I need a place to rest now. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. A nice lounge would be swell. Yes, a lounge. Funky space at the crossroads between a bar and a den. Mm -hmm. A place where we could all unwind, have a fun time, you know. You could even sleep in there. Come on, do it for me, will you? Mm -hmm. I'll be on the tab for it. Thank you, Bambina. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Sprout! Oh, sure, we could chase some lightning. Yes. I feel like we've added to the boat a lot since the last time we've done this. Alright, where's those little spots? Nice catch, Daffodil!
got a peach tree up here. That's good to know. Stella. Mm -hmm. Oh, Munchkin, I feel so foolish. So naive. Why did I think he could change? Mm -hmm. How could I hope he would have been any different? This lying, cheating scumbag. Mm -hmm. He's right here. Let, let's let's not say anything. And you? Hmm. How could you do this to me? What? Why did you feel the need to tell me the truth? Mm -hmm. Don't you think some things are better left untold? That some secrets deserve to stay unspoken? I'm so mad at you. Mm -hmm. Look, I know you believe you did the right thing. But things are not that simple. Mm -hmm. It's not always a matter of honesty versus duplicity. I'll... Mm -hmm. I'll take some time alone now. See you later, Stella. Like there's the consequences of telling the truth, and then there's the consequences of not. Got anything interesting? Linen, corn, coffee, carrots. I have infinite. It's the person with the tomatoes. Listen, I'm only gonna say this once. Mr. Davis is not someone to be taken lightly. Mm -hmm. You don't play around with Mr. Davis. I've seen Mr. Davis get angry for much less. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Understand? All right, with this much product, the risk is high. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Now get out of my sight, you degenerate. Uh. Okay, we have a hundred tomatoes. Now I'm kind of wondering if maybe there are some places here to reach them. No! <laughs> Got that chest. Well, that's right. We need to be able to bounce on things. Can't do that yet. Okay. Let's Swing by Francis. Gold or South Point dogs. See if we can get to it. Oxbury's over there. Start with this. You want to swing that by that place that has the olive seeds. Francis. Odd seeds. Sure. And we can sell you a vibrant necklace or two and an antique bust. Very nice. 
Are there any seeds we don't need? Like extra peach seeds? Yes. Any interesting errands? Uh, none that we can just turn in. I guess we could get an opal like this. I set another waypoint, but I don't think it's automatically sending us forward. Oh yes, just because it's too dark. Alright, that's fine. We will plant some of the odd seeds. some lucrative things to sell back to Francis later. Loads of corn flour. Okay, in Oxbury we can also talk to the tomato juice vendor. Excellent. Build the lounge. Right? What would it cost us to build said lounge? Maybe I need a better boat. Alright, well what would it take to improve Bruce and Mickey's crib? We need two crystal glass sheets and a bronze sheet for something shiny. Brass and clear glass for something big. A bunch of other stuff for something expensive. are pretty cheap. We just need some aluminum ingots. Oh, we can already put a couch in. Alright, let's make some aluminum ingots. You don't want it to go over for too long. A couple seconds is alright, but you don't want it to stay up there. Man, look at all that yarn. Still don't have bottled ectoplasm.
and dogs. Let's see what we can cook. Any lobsters? Yes. Suppose I combine a lobster and flour. Off we go. Check on old ore. Might be out of our reach, but I just want to look. Clearly picked some up. Some seen it. This is zinc. That's useful. Uh, we can't quite get up there yet. got here. I got this job when I got out of college. I wanted to be a painter. I went to art school. I was trash. I couldn't create anything. I hadn't seen the world. I hadn't met people. I hadn't fought with other people. I lived, you know. Now I get done at five and I can paint all night. It's perfect. I'm still not very good, but I'm better. I'll get there. Good for you. Uh, that elevator is working. This is whatever it is. More zinc. Got a bouncy that we can't use yet. when we started, Scout. Listen up. This place is supposed to receive a big shipment tonight. You just need to get it in the warehouse and wait. Really? Your part. I just need you to distract the guards. I'll cut the bars and then big guy here will go ice the guards. It'll be simple. Snatch their uniforms and resume their patrol route to blend in. Got it? Uh, I didn't realize we were planning a heist. Wait, you don't want to do it? Lost your edge, Scout. 
I might need to demote you. When I met you, you had the eyes of a killer. Red with genuine anger. It was beautiful. Now, you can't even give a few guards to run around. Well, shit. I guess we'll do all the hard work ourselves. That's what we're great at, getting our hands dirty. Scram, then. It's about to get messy. Uh oh. Oh. Um. Maybe y'all should just have a snack and chill out. Have some surf and turf. What are you trying to pull? He is allergic to crayfish. You trying to take a shot at the king? Alright, fine. Uh, apply. Three grub, finally. <laughs> have a hug. All right, all right. Don't tell anyone. Got iron ore. Got coal. Already got this. special over here. Alright, well, the boys had some interesting things to say, but other than that, it's time to get moving. Uh, let us swing by the Silver Dragon then go to Edgeboro Lane. Oops, something's done cooking. Lobster rolls. Ah, okay, I already had that recipe. Let's cook. One sec, I gotta water the plants. He sounds like the fawns. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been a bit out of sorts lately. I've been having this vivid dream. Back home. Mm -hmm. I'm five years old. Mamma Mia is making me my favorite meal. Then... Mm -hmm wake up. Still taste the beef fondue. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to go back to sleep. Let's take another nap. Ah, so he has told us his favorite is beef fondue. That's interesting. We just come right out and tell you. do the dragon event, which we do interact with Summer's house, because her memory fuels the event. Not sure if we've done the silver dragon yet. Wait a 
there. saw up here we need to water our peach tree. Uh. Oh, an egg salad. Nice. Now let's see, what would it take? To make beef fondue, do we know that? By various kinds of So many recipes. Oh, beef and fat. Okay. We can do that. Beef and sunflower oil. Yeah. shower. How did you like it last time? Ready to have some more? What do you say? Alright. Why not? Whoosh. I love the colors in this event. your fondue first. Edgeboro 
plane discovered. A new place. We weren't even sent here by a quest or anything. Oh, you are hungry. You need some fondue. Mm -hmm. And Bina, you have got to be kidding me. My favorite dish mm -hmm. ever. Tangy, sweet, salty. You can't beat beef fondue. Mm -hmm. Mama used to make this for me after a night out. It still tastes like home. Hey, have I told you about that time I was up on the coast right before the end of the war? Me and the other boys, we were waiting on an evacuation convoy after a long night of skirmishes. We had been slowly but steadily going through the occupied villages of the lower mountains as the enemy retreated. I had joined a more regular corps since most of the resistance fighters could now be out in the open. So oh, there we were, twenty-something boys aged seventeen to twenty-five, all of us tired but happy at the same time. We were winning, you know. Mm -hmm. We decided to stop for the night in a little village that overlooked the coast. At night, one of the mamas comes to us with a gigantic cauldron full of pasta with tomato sauce. Most of us hadn't seen tomato sauce in years. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we hear Marius, our youngest comedy, rushing in towards us yelling, Leave me some, guys! It smells so good! He had been on scouting duty that night to check if there was anything fishy going on. As he runs toward us, maybe 40 meters from where we were, we hear a very loud explosion and see a big puff of smoke. Mm -hmm. Landmine. They were not that frequent, but happened nonetheless. Most of us ran towards him, but I was the first there. Mm -hmm. I'll spare you the details, but it was obvious he wouldn't make it. As I hold him in my arms, covered in blood, he weakly opens his mouth and tells me, Damn, Giovanni. I can't believe I won't eat this. No one gets my share, okay? Mm -hmm. Those were his last words. That moment will forever be imprinted in my memory will always remind me that life has to be lived for the simplest of things. Mm -hmm. Nice dish, beautiful landscape, gorgeous lady. Yep, that's what life is lived for. I accidentally held the button too long and skipped the line. Maybe you'll have to go back frame by frame. Ooh, fish sticks! I was right! Everybody is asleep. Pretty city. Check it out. Is he cool enough yet? It's quite nice. Mm -hmm. You better keep moving. I'm meeting someone and it's clearly not you. You said inconspicuous. Mm -hmm. And that giant hat doesn't scream inconspicuous. You don't tend to scream inconspicuous. Anything down here? Huh. It's Karen's staff. Someone's drawn it in the graffiti. And stars and sheep. Wow. Thank you. Keep walking, you deviant. What? Ah, what did I do? Try ground level first. Oh. Got any? I got any what? Little person. <laughs> I am the Lizard King. <laughs> Good for you. Oh. Need something, sweetie? Good time, perhaps? No. Mm -hmm. Well, don't be shy. I'm down here all the time. Er, uh, no thank you. Might be on the wrong side of the tracks here. Hey, you! Uh, still, uh... Hang on, one oh. at a time. Oh, wow. A visitor. Nobody ever comes here. Oh. Must be lost. Or worse, doing something illegal. Which I am in no way doing. Oh. 
Good day, Ben. <laughs> What's up, Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Bambina, you startled me. Playing tricks on your good old Giovanni. <laughs> That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. But what are you doing here? Oh, all right, suit yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry, what? Mm -hmm. Me? I, er, I'm shopping. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm shopping. I need to, to buy medicine. Mm -hmm. Yes, medicine. For my back, you know. It aches terribly. Oh, the tragedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know this place looks kind of dodgy. You'd expect finding secondhand thrifted jewelry here. Or high-end TVs with bumpy boxes that suspiciously fell out of the shipping truck. Mm -hmm. Never judge a dog by how clean its fur is. Not everything can be as resplendent as me. All right, gotta go. Mm -hmm. See ya. Gosh. Mm -hmm. This place smells like hot garbage on a sunny day. The sun hits that dumpster just right, you can really smell the dead fish. Our tax glims hard at work. Hey, you. The name's Randy. I know, I know. Aren't you merchants all supposed to be called Theodore? Hey. Yes. Not if you stop paying your franchise fees to Raccoon Inc. Listen. Hey. Hear me out. I know what you're thinking. This guy looks shady. Oh. Well, that's right. That's why I'd cut off my arm and my leg to get you the best prices. Not just the best prices. Hey. Best items. Take a look and remember. My name is Randy and my stock can't be beat. Okay. An obble. You just got somebody's obble. Just hanging out. Sure, why not? Bovine license. Good for one mint condition cow. Olive seed and sugar cane. Okay, well, I, we need one olive seed for sure. I'll get us a few sugar cane seeds. And. Sure, I'll get a bovine license. Back for more, are we? Randy's got you. Did you sell anything interesting? So, I don't think we picked up anything interesting. <laughs> My gosh. Right, you animals. You should be ashamed of your lack of musical knowledge. The best song in the world is the Autumn End. No doubt about it. Fight, fight! That's a bald-faced lie. Lover's Myth is not only the superior song, but it's also technically more interesting. You don't know music. Fires! It's the same song, you jerk. The words Lover's Myth are in the damn lyrics. No, it's not. You don't have good taste and you know nothing. up, dudes? Mm -hmm. Settle this thing for us. These dumb, dumb idiots say that the Autumn End and Lover's Myth are different songs. That's just... just... wrong. Please help me prove these jerks are so wrong. Mm -hmm. Play the guitar? Yes, I do. Of course you do. Look at those fingers. Alice is the size of mountains. If only you knew the song, you could play it for us. Wait a second. I know where you can find the sheet music to the Autumn End. Mm -hmm literally the sports anthem to the city I'm from. Everyone knows it. I'm sure you can find a shop on Nordweiler that sells it. It's gotta be there. Here's some pocket change. Keep it, but bring back that sheet music. Now, I think we've already purchased this? Hmm. I can hear the melody in my head. It's so clear. Nice. Good job finding the sheet music for the autumn end. Now let her rip. Go play the song in the middle there. Let's stop this madness. Nidus! song rules. Impossible. Ooh. Amazing. You sure know how to rock. I told you. I told them. It's the same song. Thanks for settling this argument. Now these so-called music lovers will leave us alone. Yeah. My goodness. Well, shit. We were wrong. <laughs> I guess I got my money back for that music. What's this? A 
signed vintage poster and a leak seed. Glorious. people want. Ooh, more sugarcane seed and a large glim bottle. Excellent. Lock doors. Okay, let's see if we can get up there. Usually, medium glim bottle. And. Oh, another bovine license in a piece. Alright, well, we probably don't need multiple. seed I wanted, and I think we've pretty well cleaned this place out, so head on. Where to next? We've got to go back to Oxbury at some point. It's around here. All places we can get to. Sunspring Square. All kinds of stuff. Let's go back to Oxbury, because we know that we've got uh, Beverly waiting for us there. Let's swing by Francis. Just because we can. eggs. We can't interact with this anymore, so we've got as many chickens as we can possibly have. Oh! What's up, Gustav? I'm sure you could find something nutritious for me. Have some coffee. What's going on? Oh, yeah, our, our boat passengers often don't like these eclipse areas. No taste, I say, but whatever. Uh, are the odd seeds ready? Yes. Let's let's cycle those so we'll have something to sell to them. need to prepare and give me everyone's meal. Then we can start our dinner. Yes, I know. Got planks. Ooh, really? Ash plank. Thank you. Gotta grow lots of sunflowers. Using them to feed our chickens. our olive seed up here. Oh. 
Hello, Alex. Gustav, what would it take for this modernist desk? We need ash planks, silver ingots, and silk thread. That's not a problem. And here we are in Oxbury. So we have to hand off some tomatoes and also find Beverly. Dice boys. Hey, you. With dice boys. Don't forget the name. Yeah, I remember. to apologize about the house. Yes. Well, don't. It's nice and all, but remember, never apologize just because someone asks you to. The real culprit here is obviously Anthony. He might be a professional architect, but he's an amateur record keeper. He thinks that house was for my family. He must think very little of me. What a joke. He's heard the last of me. Then who needs them? Well then, let's go aboard. I can't wait to see my house. The right one, that is. <laughs> okay. Glad you're all set. You came back. Jeez. I was worried for a second there. That look in your eyes. Good thing I was wrong. My business was depending on you. I'm still in trouble for that lemonade fiasco. Hopefully this tomato craze won't stop. People will always want to be healthy. Well, thank you for this. Promise is a promise. Here's a little bit extra. 9,000 glims. Is there a store here? I feel like there was a key to Oxbury or something. Yes. Master key opens every door in Oxbury. Sure. Listen. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. But this place is a trash hole. She wants that worthless riffraff. She can have him. Oh, this is where he was leading up with his own mm -hmm. I won't shed a tear for him. I've got better things to do. I won't have him back either. Mm -hmm. You'll be stuck with his problems, not me. It's all fun and games right now. You'll be crying your little eyes out soon enough. Mm -hmm. Harlot. Ooh. I could talk to her. Ooh. Leave us alone. We'll be getting busy soon. Right, I'm out. Now, of course, I still can't bounce on things, which means my navigation options are still a little limited. But I can get this thing. Mint collectible card. Score. For you. Marjorie, the plumber is here. Wait a second. You don't have a mustache. You're not the plumber. Out! <laughs> My roommate is a weird duck. I can hear him quacking in his room. I hope he's not planning on biting me. <laughs> 
he's actually a horrible goose. We considered that possibility. chandelier and amethyst. Okay. Out in here. Can't talk right now. Oh wow, I'm talking. I'm so spaced out. Leave me alone, please. We need that to get up there. spend too much time roaming around. Yeah, because I can't use all these yet. Alright, let's head back to the boat. We've got Beverly now. You really pulled out all the stops. I knew I could count on you to build me this house. Took more tries than I imagined, but that's alright. Mm. Having you around is quite the treat. My kids just don't come as often as I'd like. They're busy with their own lives. Mm. I'm just not a part of theirs anymore. Well, that's what neighbors are for. I'm glad you moved in upstairs. You've always been a helping hand. And you and Daffodil are so quiet. Mm. That's what makes you such a great listener. Well then, let me get settled in. That house and I need some time to reconnect. A good night's sleep in my old bed will do me wonders. We'll talk soon. Oh, and we got an oddle. Should have two now, at least. The next time we find a shrine, use it. Sec, Giovanni. Not sure where I want to go next. You improve some stuff. You need to build the lounge, the modernist desk. It's all things we can do here. So let's let's just kind of roam a bit. We can't cross this line. South Point. I don't want to go... I don't want to go, uh... just to try to clean up all the chests and things, because... because, um... I don't have mounts yet. Egg salad. Well, how to save this baby? Now that's got eggs in it, right? Yeah. Listen, I like the little chicks. So cute with their little beaks and fluffy tiny feathers. Mm -hmm. Don't mind eating chicken. It's meat, okay? Meat is fine. But eggs? Never been an egg kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, Bambina. I was hungry like a lion. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, you're fine. Hey, Bambina, I really don't mean to be bothersome, but you haven't forgotten about the lounge, have you? Stay. Everyone will love it so much. Yeah, I need a better boat. I need more silk fabric. I need ectoplasm, which I can't get yet. Alright, well. Let's just work on more things then. Uh, what did I need for? I need silver and silk. Can do. Silver and silk for Gustav's desk. It's easy enough to do while we're sitting here. Oh, whoa, that is way too hot. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just have to wait. Start again. So for this one... We have to let it cool down a little bit. Those presses. Silver ingots and silk fabric. modernist desk. Its desk's form and function are elegantly working toward the same goal, showing off its owner's impeccable taste. Very nice. Good boy's name. Crystal glass to... snoring noise. Ooh, we've got peaches. Thank you. 
Hello, Francis. Sell a mint collectible card, a crystal chandelier. Wow, thanks. Interesting errands. Thing that we can. Celery and cotton fiber. I think it for the glims as much as anything else. And let us take the bus. Hi. You need cake. Thank you. And what's a hug look like? I forget. Aww. That's nice. Alright, Alex. Let's take you... by Susan. It looks like she's got something. Word. I know everyone's hungry. Here, look at it. Look at the curves. Uh, they're all right angles. Hmm. Look at the perfect fit of the materials. Uh -huh. Truly a masterpiece. I'll be able to accomplish my immense work much more comfortably and glamorously. Uh -huh. Now I can manage most of the smaller pieces by myself. But the larger ones, as the desk, we'll have to manufacture ourselves. Once I've received some designs from collaborators, I'll give them over to you. Uh -huh. I'm sure you'll be as useful, perfectly competent, and executed. Quest fully loaded. For Gustav to give you more designs for the exhibit. Okay. Uh, tataki. He bottled it. Oh. Uh -huh. Food on the vessel. Lobster roll. Uh -huh. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Good. I found something you might like, perhaps. Here's a gift from my collection. Diorama. Very nice. Morning, kid. You need some food. How about some fish sticks? Now we're talking. That's some good chow, Scout. Pub food is the best when you get the munchies. Mickey here, psyched. Excellent. Alright, alright, don't tell anyone. Hey. Mickey wants decorations for our new place. This will cost you big money. Yeah, I know. Sweet pea! I've got a lead on something incredible. It's huge. Listen up. Apparently, there's this kid in Ambertown Park handing out copies of the Super Saver to Scout book. No reaction? Oh. Nothing. Wow. You kids these days. Every cent is important. You can't go around squandering your paycheck. 
need to be smart about how you spend your money. Let Bev show you the way. Say you want to buy something. Are you going to pay full price for it? No way. You need to be chasing deals. That's what my mom used to say. And that's what I'm telling you. You just need the patience to pounce at the right moment. You need to be more like a tiger, sweet pea. Say you've been eyeing an archive room B2522 for your boat. Have I been? Randy in Edgeboro Lane is the only one who's got the blueprint. Are you just going to walk up to him and pay full price? No. Good. In no way should you be paying full price for anything. You're going to wait and find a way to pay a bit less. If that means taking a detour to Ambertown Park before buying something in Edgeboro Lane, so be it. Don't go and just buy that archive room B2522 right away. It won't be worth it. Not until you can shave a few glims off the asking price. You told me that about three times. All right, well, we were just in that area, but fine. Guess we'll go back. To get on with it already. Uh, let's see. Is, ooh. Ah, our medals collection. You were halfway to smelting my mind into mush with all these ingots. Take this and go. I can't think of you in front of me. Okay, well, what else is there? So, all the other metal sheets and one more kind of metal, it looks like. Probably. And our next reward is a smithy upgrade. That would be amazing. How many do we need? Three. Okay, well, let's get this food reward. What do we have here? Is that food? Is that a dish? Are you trying to cook something on that boat of yours? Are you a chef? Do you even have any cookbooks? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. The Everlight does everything for me. That's your answer for everything. Mm -hmm. You're a special kind of spirit bearers. Just because of that Everlight, you think you're so... You don't know what it is to actually... Mm -hmm. Why am I even taking my precious time to talk to you? It is. Remember, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Not that you would ever know that. Oh. Oh. oh boy. Oh, let's see. I'm going to. There we go. Now maybe I can see chat properly again. Hello, everyone. Hello again, everyone. Now, before we leave, we only needed three things to get that smithy upgrade. So I'm going to see three. Mm -hmm. There, I made these for you. Can I make three other kinds of bronze sheep? Oh, I made a brass sheep. Brass sheet. Okay, well, I'm sure I'll need them at some point. I'm always making the wrong kinds of sheets. There's too many different kinds. Uh, the problem is we need gold for some of this, but not all. Okay, so let's make a bronze sheet. It again. Switch your new creator mode on tablets. Not useful. Constantly breaking. Okay, 
one bronze sheet, and we need... Those. That's not... No, we need gold for those two. Uh, for steel, we need carbon powder, and for a celestial sheet, we need comet powder, and we can make... Pressure. Pressure's even been upgraded. Carbon powder and comet powder here. tartlets okay and now I think if we go back to the museum we should be able to get our smithy uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Oh no, we're gonna need we're gonna need to get all the way to oh. and and what I'm Oh right, no, I need to actually make the things first. I am getting ahead of myself. Okay, so now we need steel sheet. A celestial sheet, whatever that means. There's so many chickens. stand outside of the museum doing this, but just because I really want the smithy up there. Because you can see it takes a lot of poking buttons to get anything. If I can get the multiplier on there as quickly as possible, then it'll just make me happier. <laughs> Ingots. Where are we at now? You're right, it doesn't matter. It's all pointless for you. Here's something. Consider it a token of my faith in you. It's not much. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Uh, Away with us then. Uh -huh. Back to the park, it looks like. Swing by Francis first. Okay, what will it take to actually build? Gold ingots and XP potions. Ooh, all right. Well, no sense waiting around on that stuff then. Make another bronze sheet and a couple crystal glass sheets. Better yet, let's water the olive tree first. Francis. Oh. Okay, fine. Oh, I have mail. Theaterama delivery package number four. Bottles. Theaterama delivery package number four. Madison here, y'all. We are mixing it up this week at Feederama. We've got the perfect meal for lovers. We've provided you with milk and rice. The combo makes the most delectable rice pudding. Make this your treat of the day. If you're just joining us, welcome to the boat. We've got Beverly on the boat, and she's actually staying this time because she's finally happy with her house. And as soon as I'm done with all this watering, we are going to see about adding some things to juice and Mickey's them and their expensive tastes. Now, uh, what should we grow? Grow some sugar cane. Picked up some of this earlier, but I haven't done much of it. Okay, one more bronze sheet, not a brass sheet. Quartz for that. We need to go back to our quartz turtle or any other source of quartz. What else can I work on? Uh, 
Uh, we, and all of it needs glass of various kinds. All right, well, that gives me a hint of what I want to do next. when the glass sheets fall on the floor and don't break. Yep, everything falls on the floor and doesn't break here. Alright, video games work. Just how, like, how we can leave food in the kitchen for way longer than it needs to be. And it takes an extremely long time to burn. this veggie. It looks dangerous. Julian apple pies. we go. Speed the kitchen. I could sleep, but why? Just head on and let's move it again. Uh, doesn't have much interesting for us. We need quartz dragons. We also need the turtle that I left some quartz on. Travel here. And let's get ourselves ports. to this ore when I was on the island with you earlier. Smelting with it later. Have a pear tartlet. Morning, kid. Hi, a tool. You like fried chicken. 
need to prepare and give me everyone's meal. Yeah, I know. Wait, free grub, finally. some quartz so we can grow some more. Also put in some silver. It's because it's so much easier than the crack. enough for the size upgrade, so let's just keep moving on. Dragon also. Hammertown Park. We can head back there. In the meantime, Silica. to plant on a tree. Also double check exactly what kind of glass I have. Crystal glass sheet. And then four of clear. Okay. Two crystal, four clear. And the town park is down there. We can also get some silver ball down there if we like. Embertown Park. Before we go to Edgebrook. However, we have arrived. Apparently we can get some blackberries while we're here too. Oh. Thank 
keep your patronage. Tell all your friends. I'm supposed to meet a date today. This is the first time we'll meet in real life. I've been stressing about it for days now. I just couldn't wait in my apartment anymore. So I got here a few hours before this date actually starts. I hope his tastes align with mine. Okay, here's the deal. Let me practice on you. I'll start with some small talk. Something casual. Something funny. Something out of the ordinary. Like... You like fries? No, that's poor. Of course he'll say yes. Let me think. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Don't you have respect for all things living? Sorry I cut a tree here once. Are you looking for a good deal? You wanna save big time, yes? Yes? <laughs> Got a coupon book that might be right up your alley. It's the Super Saver Discount Book. It's got deals, it's got savings, it's out of control, and it's mostly legal. It will enhance your shopping experience to the extreme. With this coupon book, you'll be keeping more of your hard-earned glimpse. Deals will keep you rich, I promise. When I save, you gotta get this coupon book. Totally free. I will just take some personal information that will in no way impact your future life. Uh-oh. We're gonna get, like, everything in the mail, aren't we? What do you say? <laughs> sure it will be hilarious. <laughs> That's great! Here you go. You'll be able to save big time at certain Raccoon Ink locations. Actually, just one. For now. We're working on expanding. My uncle Randy was trying to unionize some other shops and it didn't go as planned. Oh. I see. Rupert really cut his brakes. Figuratively, figuratively and literally. For now, my uncle Randy at Edgeboro Lane is ready to slash his prices. Ooh, take care now. Aha. Interesting. Deals the savings all in one convenient place. Coupons for your favorite products at Raccoon Inc. Alright, well. I guess we'll see how that goes. You know... All the apple pies. I suppose find a clam some milk. Well, let's see if we can get this archive something or other she's asking about. Lucille's bus limited by the same boundaries that I am. Meaning if I see a bus station past a line that I can't cross, can I use the bus to get there? There's probably a limit to that, but I will take a closer look at the map next time. Oh! Hey. Where did you get that coupon book? I told my nephew to stop handing those out. Now I'm on the hook for a lifetime discount for every customer on the face of the planet. Randy, why don't you give Claude a job? That's the last time I listened to my sister-in-law. Yeah, yeah. You don't tell anyone you'll get the discount on everything. Yeah, I have any choice either way. So 
enjoy your shopping experience, valued customer. And always remember, here's Randy, and my stock can't be beat. Except for you, apparently. Goodness. Olive seed, sugar cane seed, archive room 2522. Alright, well. Got a blueprint. Cheap sugar cane seeds. Still sounds pretty happy about selling us stuff. Okay, so we just need to talk to Beverly. Chowder. Not surprising. Mm -hmm. Have a snack or something. Mm -hmm. Another glorious fine dining affair. You know, Bambina, it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. Was this Trattoria again? Never mind. Yours is better than yours. Um, yum. Mm -hmm. And he still wants his lounge. Um, well, oh. good job, sweet pea. Lesson learned. You waited and it paid off. I'm proud of you. In any case, you should go ahead and build the archive room B252. Bought it. You've earned it. Okay. Uh, but where should we go first? We're just crafting. Let's explore a bit. We can go to Sunspring Square. Oh, the lounge! It was in this category. I just need some zinc, alright. I just need some linen for the archive room. All right, well, that makes things easy. You know what? I'm going to let this go. Harvest it. We might still have problems with the size of the boat. Because, especially with Beverly's buildings on here, we are using more space than I think we prior to DC. So, build, lounge. We can fit this, it's fine. It's a serious problem. Let's 
Just stack it on top of everything. planks and linen fabric for the archive. over by Beverly's house. She's the one who asked for it. glass sheet. And now we should be able to add mm -hmm. 
another one of these things. There's a Mickey's house. Sunspring Square discovered. Huzzah. Alright, well. <laughs> Some kind of massive home entertainment system. Everyone gets to sleep in today. I'm gonna go explore this place. Say for certain that Sun Spring Square is not living up to its name. I keep seeing this girl in the window looking at me. Maybe I know her or something? It's a bit odd. Just go left and right. But if you want a flashy place to visit, my brother heard about this spot filled with giant screens. He was probably lying. Maybe you could take a look. Ooh, destination. This really cute boy that walks by every morning. I just like to sit here and wait for him. I don't have anything better to do. He gives me something to do. Bad communication skills. Loads of seeds. Onion seeds. That's... Oh. Hi. Welcome to the park. My name is David, and I'm one of the many rangers in charge of our region's parks. I just wanted you to know that these trees are sick. Mm -hmm. They have a rare disease. We need to cut them down. I've got a crew coming later. I just wanted to warn you to be safe in the park. Respect the park. Serve your community. Have a park filled day. Oh, well, if they're getting cut down anyway. Look at all these trees. Oh. Need to make sure we're hugging people more. You're kind of running low on ash, so if these trees are getting cut down anyway, let's just take it. Perfect. Yeah, there's nothing special to say. Alright. Very well. The peeps here can only go left and right. Yep. If you go left and right long enough, you'll eventually find something. Blueberries hidden behind a tool there. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hello, friend. my boyfriend to move out. That was two weeks ago, and he's still here. I need to put my foot down. Yes, you do. Not gonna be able to reach without using that bouncy. Here. Well, maybe. Now, uh, this will get me only this far. Need this to get the rest of the way. Even with that, it's not quite enough. We'll just have to come back later. I'm 
we've got a new place to visit, so that's cool. I guess we'll soon hear what Bruce and Mickey have to say about the thing I built for them. Ah, everyone wants to talk to me. Oh my goodness. Another turtle. Irina. And a new place over there. And flotsam shores. Got all kinds of places. Let's, uh, let's travel to this turtle. Talk to all the people. Over here, Scout. Me and my brother. We're practical people. We ask for something and you deliver it. Simple. But there's something we shouldn't even have to ask for. But that is food. People eat. Usually like thrice a day. Can't leave this boat and go to the deli. Oh, I seem like I'm pissed off here. That's because I am. Don't feed me, sure, okay. But my brother, that just doesn't fly, Scout. Let's go out and get us a goddamn lobster. Allergic to shellfish. Okay. Don't forget. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. Not bad. Yeah, tell me about this archive, Beverly. This reminds me a bit of my late husband David's classroom. Obviously, you've never met him, but you knew he was a high school teacher. You already knew that. True. It's just very similar. You should go inside and take a peek. Maybe see if the projector still works. Good. Thanks for food. Just keep that in mind. Grub, finally. I think he wants decorations for our new place. Right. Yeah, we knew that. Have a hug. Good dear. Mm -hmm. Yes, you would also like food. Don't be mad at me, Munchkin, but I did some fishing while we were. You did a lot of fishing! Got the lobster I needed! That's awesome! Have a hug. Mm -hmm. Good, I needed that. Hi, new turtle. Hey. Well, well. You look beaten up, my dear. You see one of my sisters out there. They think they are so mature. Bill show. I'm sure they gave you quite the hard time. Well, I'm hiring. You don't have to work. I don't. You can do your investigations. Just go and pop on my back. Can be minerals or logs. I know a friend when I see one. I'll take good care of you. Thank you, Irina. Let's leave what we don't have much of. Quartz. And silver. And... More silver. Stella. Are you all done? Alright, I'll see you later then. Thank you. Alright, sandwich walk. Let's investigate. Alright, well, let's not leave Beverly wing either. Uh, do you like bays? Thank you. I'm taking a little breather and resting my legs. You need this chair? Oh, no. Perfect. More sitting time for me. Ah. 
Well, it works. There's nothing I can do with it. Oh! Nothing to show. You could try this. It was in my husband's work things. Maybe it'll work. Math 116 lecture notes. Math equation drawn by Beverly's husband, David. Sandwich walk discovered. Okay, this place looks like it's going to be visually loud. Will this show me? Oh, wow. Oh, that's, um... David was a math teacher. He taught at Chelsea High for 20 years. He met on a blind date. A new bachelor is snatched up quickly in a small town. My friend Pauline matched us up. She was the school's secretary. That school would have been in shambles without her. She was the first to see him and called me the second he was out of her sight. Bev, I just met the love of your life. How about that? She was right, to a point. I was the love of his life. He was gone too quickly to be the love of mine. I never met anyone as special as him. He had a warmth that I was never able to find again. Well, what are we looking at? Must be a formula or something. I've never been that great at math. My brain gets confused with numbers. I have that in common with... She told me that she isn't great with... I'm just tired. I can feel it in my bones. Don't ever get old, Stella. It wouldn't suit you. Well, it looks like we're finding the midpoint of a line here. Alright, let's talk to all these people. Ambina, mm -hmm. this is perfect. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have even hoped for such a lavish saloon. Hey, Peanut, mm -hmm. want me to fix you a drink? Yeah, come on, you know you want one. Just a dash of vodka. Mm -hmm. Emergencies are then. Really? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Bah, okay, suit yourself. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna pour myself a little pick-me-up, all right? Catch my drift? Mm -hmm. ah. Ciao, ciao. Hey, our olive tree's up. New Stella, I have just received a fantastic design for a fireplace. Cold? Oh, silly you, it's not for heating up the gallery. Uh -huh. No, no, the hearth has been, since time immemorial, a central piece of any household. It assembles the tribe, represents unity, warmth, and light against the harsh nature. A symbol so fundamental that it is present in almost all cultures. Uh -huh. This piece is a reinterpretation of the concept, a comment, a wish on the collective. I'm sure you will understand very clearly once it is built. Neoclassical Nordic fireplace. Cool. Alright, well what would it take to build this? Oh, just some zinc ingots. I already have the steel we need. Let's, uh, let's investigate Sandwich Walk. It's a sheep. If we needed another sheep, we could get one here. This place used to be cool. It was buzzing off the walls. I remember a party that was... Wait. Do I remember a party? It's just me. I remember people. Were there even people? I'm so lost. My brother sent you. He told
told you I was lying about this place? We've been feuding for many years. If I can't bear the sound of his name, capital that you can turn to my brother at once. At once, I say. Tell him about this marvel, this gem of a location. You're my name, you great adventurer. I refuse to let this bitter rivalry go on any longer. Your brother will surely reimburse you for your troubles. Garlic bread. New recipe. And we got garlic seeds. And... That's ominous. Chest. Olive seed. Valuable ring. Amethyst. Mulberry seeds. been up there. Well, look at those arrows. They're like the ones that were all over Oklahoma. The Oklahoma one time, and there were all these signs. Like, every place of business had the same sign that was, like, four lines of text and an arrow with lights on it. Kind of like this, except it was a straight arrow, and the shaft of the arrow got a little thicker as it moved up towards the head. Everywhere had this sign. Ooh. I'm a big fan of ads. They tell me what to think. It's not science. It's a way of life. Gosh. Alright, so maybe we should go back to that other island then. First, sink. Sign to the world's biggest duck. Yeah. Actually, before I go off, make sure the wind is running. Very often. Leave it not running through the night. There's no reason to do that. We're in one place. We might as well take advantage of the wind. Square fireplace. And we're going to need some more two crystal clear glass sheets for the sheet.
crystal glass sheets. Over here, just, uh, I see I'll need a little bit more powder. Glass chandelier. Okay, one more clear glass sheet. Have their house just as fancy as they want. that looks expensive for no reason. Oh, okay, it's that little side table there. Liquor table. Something that hits hard. Alright, well there's Sandwich Walk for you. Now I wanted to go back to Sunspring Square to talk to that person. Let's swing by Irina because she has some for us. Let us talk to all the people. Let's go. Get in here. Alright, let's take a look at this guy's place. They've got crazy statues holding up their speakers. They've got a very wide screen They've got a, a picture of cars, which seems very apropos. Vicky loves it. This is exactly up his alley. Don't tell him this, but he wanted to upstage Romeo. You wouldn't know him. He's this guy from the South Shore. He has expensive taste. He has this awful mansion. Is it a big mansion? He would boast around town about his house. Vicky hated him. Listen, you've been doing enough running around. We should go somewhere. Take you out and relax a bit. Let me ask Mickey and think of something. Okay. Morning. All right, let's cycle this toidal. because we, we're clearly needing it. And some more silver. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of this weather. Sweet Pea, I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering... Would it be possible to build me a house? 
have a house. You remember the kids and David and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. It's a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. What am I saying? You've already done that for me. I was just testing you to see if you're quick on your feet. But I can see you're still sharp. Which reminds me that I need to get my kitchen knives sharpened. Just something my childhood friend Daryl didn't do. I was cutting vegetables one day, and just like that, the blade bent, broke, and shattered all over the place. Mostly in his face. He had bandages in his face from all the cuts. His wife Hannah left him. Not because of the cuts, but because he had a secret family two towns over. That just goes to show you can't trust a man who doesn't sharpen his knives. Well, I'll... Uh, I guess I'll go home. Uh, stop! I'm trying to feed you breakfast. Oh, this rain. We'll have a stop. Peanut. I think I've overstayed my welcome on this ship. No, I know. Only just joined you guys recently. Mm -hmm. But I don't exactly have any say in this, you know. I wish I had. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I had a jolly good time. No regrets. I did love that lounge. Mm -hmm. A bit too much, maybe? I think you might need to restock. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know the way, Bambina. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, Bambina. It's hungry like a lion. some fire glow. Don't be shy. Make me something extra spicy, please. Oh, oh spicy. Ah, uh, oh, uh, Beverly, please. I'm, I'm kind of wanting to investigate the lounge. Okay, so I can sit on this. Oh, I can select music here. So if there's Music. Y'all want to hear? Put up. Stella, this is quite the vessel. At this point, it's essentially a sailing village. Yeah, seriously. A real community. You remember Dana? The flower girl with beautiful long red hair. No, Dana. She went to the desert with some friends. They all followed this man with a long robe and silky hair around. They all called him Jimmy Jim. It always sounded odd to me. Jimmy, a diminutive of James, was Jim his last name. This didn't really roll off the tongue. You'd think a cult leader would be better at coming up with names. Dana kept telling me they were looking for some kind of new water. But the water in cities was too tainted, full of city sweat and bad omens. They needed to find a better, cleaner source of water in the desert. She kept wanting me to come with them, telling me this new water would heal everything. Their new community would be beautiful. Everyone in harmony with each other and with nature. Well, it didn't take long for everyone to be dehydrated. Well, they dug lasted a few weeks and everyone started fighting over the water. I guess I'm just saying that I know you're busy. You've got things to tend to, people to see, places to be. I don't want to be a bother, but I'll just have to be. I've been thinking about a way to repay you for all that running around. I've got a pretty good idea, but I need your help for the final touch. I was talking to one of the people in this boat. I'm so bad with the names. Well, new names. I can't seem to remember your passengers. That's pretty clever of the devs. She can say that no matter who's on the boat and who isn't. Must be all the comings and goings. Yep. Well, they were saying sometimes the boat goes through a swarm of fireflies. 
Their bellies are sometimes filled with fire gloves. But look at that. I've already got some fire glove. No need for all that trouble then. It's a beautiful, perfectly spicy fire glove. Oh, what the heck. I can't keep it a secret for much longer. You remember when you first moved into the building. I had been there for years. I sold the house a few months after David died. The kids were heartbroken at first. They were never there. They just wanted their old rooms to stay perfectly intact, I suppose. Well, back to you. Your fridge broke on the first day. Poor thing. I could tell you were broke and couldn't afford takeout. You remember what happened? No, tell me. That's too bad. I made you soup. Not just any soup. My favorite soup in the whole wide world. It was laksa. It was the first thing I ate when I moved to the big city alone. I had moved here to be closer to my sister. It was quite the trip. It took a few days. Well, when I got here, my neighbor, Aranya from 32B, invited me to dinner. My neighbors were friendly back then. She served laksa. I had never tried it before, but I instantly fell in love. For a year straight, I must have invited myself to dinner at least once a week. Hopefully, I didn't overstay my welcome. Her family was so nice. In any case, spicy food became my ultimate friendship test. You can stomach it, then you can stomach me. And you passed with flying colors. I couldn't help you with your fridge, but I could be fed. My gift to you is Aranya's family recipe. You can't recreate it anymore. Well, that's not true. I just believe that at my age, I've done enough cooking for a lifetime. To let someone else take the reins. Book a laksa, maybe we can share it. Just have to put fire glow and. Fire glow and. Delicious powder of rain. Sorry about that, must have slipped my mind. Have to figure it out, I suppose. If I had a laksa in front of me, I would remember. That'd be lovely. I'm gonna see what Gustav is doing. He's making sushi, and he's cutting the little sushis apart by pecking them. <laughs> he only does that when he's in a really good mood. All right, let's let's go for some music. awesome. Oh my gosh. Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? Not really, this is fine. Don't forget, I haven't. Hey, we've got olives. Alright, I'm gonna talk to the dude at this This uh, heated mug is working out really great. Thank goodness with Beverly on the boat. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. You actually went to the sandwich walk? You saw my brother. I told you to come back here, and you came back? Prank! Oh. Classic Derek. We used to always prank villages here together. Oh. Yeah, we got you. Hard. So very hard. In your face, random traveler. You need to stop listening to random, unhelpful randos in the streets. Wow, I love the feeling of pranking someone. I should start doing this more often. Classic me. I miss my brother. Alright, well, since we're here, pick up the berries, because we can't.
better or worse, a destination in mind. Interesting, the music reset once we left the boat. I guess it means if I actually do want to use the music player a lot, I should put the lounge in the room. Lots of shores discovered. This looks like a place for raft. Olives count as safe. I did, in fact, look it up. Alright, so. I can give that to a tool as soon as he gets up. We're left to our own devices. Got some. Okay, 
Okay, so we need gold and some other things. Progress there. That's right. The boys wanted a lobster. Mm. I was I was watching somebody streaming Animal Crossing and I guess it was either them or their mom who really missed going to tiki bars. That was the thing they loved to do. They couldn't do things. And, and so they had done up their Animal Crossing house like a tiki bar. And they had done just such an amazing job of it. Incredible. That was Siri, pixel biologist, but it was one of her friends who did this. Not Siri herself. Hey, another lobster! Okay, this lobster roll looks good. And let's try Fire Glow with either going to be rice or corn. Let's try that. somewhere. Right, we haven't actually looked at Flopped some Shores yet. Do that. Lighter now, it'll be easier to explore.
Oh, hey, glad I came over here. Sockeye salmon, amethyst, and anchovy. Wow. You too. I'm glad you said something. It would have been odd for you to just pass by. Well, that's it. Have a good one. I have a hard time navigating. This whole place. It started with a dream. A city of containers in the air, floating amongst the clouds. Then I woke up and thought to myself, that's the most ridiculous thing ever, Marty. It's just a city of containers in the sea. It makes more sense. So I built it. It took a few years. Here we are. Well done. place gives me the creeps. It smells like wet rags and damp towels. Fish. Mm -hmm. Mostly fish. I don't like it, but I have nowhere to go, so I just complain a lot. Mm. Good one. I'm busy. I'm trying to find a gift for my brother. Something on a budget. He's not worth a full price gift. He never gets me anything anyways. Mm -hmm. I'll figure it out. I just need to think about it. Gotta bounce and hold himself. Check us out a platform I missed in here. Nope, we're gonna need to be able to bounce. Well, that was a very raft detour. Even more so than usual for this game. Well, that's something, but it's not boxing, so. And another fire glow and rice flour this time. Creepy! I hope you have something handy to feed me. Well, you like breakfast classic for people in the know. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I feel much better now. That's what exotic food does. Instant warm blanket. Fire glow. Don't be shy. Make me something extra spicy, please. Oh, I needed this for you earlier. It should keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worse. Aw, oh, wolf fabric. Alright, thank you, very useful turtle. Silver, 
might as well. We've kind of been going through a little bit of ash. That as well. I've always loved soup. How did you know? Mm, very good. Thanks, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Oh, that's right. Taste of Gustav always shine in his food choices. Good work. We just need a place to eat now. I don't think the deck is the right place for a five course meal. What about the big city, humming room. The island with the shrine and the nice tables. Nothing too fancy, but still a night on the town. I'll make us a nice spot. Let's head over there. I think it's cool. Wild. Ooh. You've got a story for me. Oxa, there we go. Let's get sailing, and then it looks like Gustav has something for us. Thingberg. This general side of the map, isn't it? Let's go ahead and take a bus, and we can investigate the bus's limits while we do that. New design! Oh, Stella, I have received the most amazing submission. This is a design for a clock. One of the strongest symbols of humanity's dedication to rising above its lowly station. The measuring of time leads the path to its accounting. In turn allows for long term planning. Hmm. The first humans started this colossal and seemingly pointless task of measuring time. Uh -huh. They extracted themselves from the instant hmm. and stopped surviving as animals. Instead, they started surviving as a species. Uh -huh. Humanity was born when the apes decided they would play timekeepers. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm quite excited by this new design and trust it to you. Max a minimalist clock. Very well. Uh -huh. Okay, find something nutritious for me. Sure. Five lobster rolls. Uh huh. I can that. Oh, it's a Uh huh. Good, good. Uh -huh. Hear you, Alex. Okay, so there's a wall we can't get past yet. Can't get past the blue line. I uh, don't think there's any bus stop can't otherwise. We'll just go where we're going. What's up, Beverly? Moving first. Spice is right. It smells amazing. All right, let me give it a try. My stomach is basically a hot pepper at this point. I can handle it. Oxa. Delicious spicy noodle soup that will cure any cold. It's just the right kind of tongue burning. I mean, that's incredible. You haven't lost your way around a kitchen. Wow. I can feel my sinuses clearing. Thank you, sweet pea. I suppose I got carried away a bit there. Sorry, there isn't any left. Don't you worry, I'll make it up to you. I know this was supposed to be a treat for you as well. Next time. Well then, you have a minute. Like I was saying, I've been having this dream. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. I won't start telling you my dreams. Well, maybe a little. So in my dream, I was using the projector in the archive room B252. I was transported inside the images. The first image was a 
sightseeing. Oh, I remember. Oh. We went sightseeing in the city. He rented an apartment for the whole family. It was so luxurious. We had the whole week planned out. Museums, parks, restaurants. Obviously, Henry got sick on the first day. I remember staying by his side, knitting. The only thing he was able to do was draw. He was really obsessed with this cartoon show back then. Probably just giant robots and men in tights. <laughs> the apartment was somewhere in Old Central District. It was supposed to be our home away from home. For a week at least. And the whole time I was eating a giant bag of sweet corn. That's dreams for you. They're always a bit foggy. Hopefully, if you find that acetate, it will jog my memory a bit more. Thanks again, sweetie. You're a lifesaver. I've made sushi. Uh -huh. I've made a delicacy. Have some sushi. Feed it to the others. They'll love it. Cool. We've got olives. We've got peaches. Got a date to keep in Hummingbird. Not a surprise. Who's got berries for us? Au pied de Guamville. <laughs> Sprout! This looks great! I knew you would pull through. Everyone made it. Are you ready to eat? Yes. Alright. Thank you so much for being gathered here. I couldn't have done it all alone. This feels like a real family dinner. You all made me feel part of your family. What a treat to be with friends. Cheers. And of course, Stella. My niece. Thank you. All right, I'll stop talking now. Just dig in. <laughs> Aww. Lobster bowl. Never go over. Find an acid. Fire glow is used for something besides a very few crafting recipes. It's kind of a neglected item for a while there. Plant some onion. Other onion. Carrot. Quest, Uncle's gone. Mm. Mm. Francis, because I'm 
thought I've got some stuff for him. Mm -hmm. A tool? Indeed, I wonder where he might be. I don't know why, Munchkin, but I have a hunch he won't be back. Mm -hmm. Makes me sad. He's always been so joyful and funny. But I won't miss him snoring, for sure. Sorry I couldn't be of more help, Stella. sheep. That must be an acetate. All I need is some nebula thread. Do I have nebula fiber? Make it right now. Yes. gets us a garlic seed. Sure. Limbs, that's very nice. Serpents. Height. Tomato seed. Incredible. Everyone likes sushi. Really, everyone? Even the guys don't like seafood? Free grub, finally. Wow. See your uncle. Tell him that was an okay meal. I've seen better in my day. Still, it was pretty good. Spirit flower. Actually, take him to the upper door. Just left. Oh. Stay on the boat, I think. Mm -hmm. Fine dining. Uh. Loves hugs. Maybe this wasn't the best time for a conversation. Oh, except that your music overrides Alex's, so that's fine. We had such a blast. Nikki making so much money. The money. There was nothing we couldn't buy. Our mom had never seen so much dough. She was a great lady. Stuck in her old ways. She knew Mickey was putting himself in danger. But she didn't say anything since the house was paid twice over. your roll? Yeah, it could be that. Hmm. Alright, you guys wanted a lobster roll, too. How about that lobster roll? Go get some. Alright, fine. Lobster roll. Well, you took your sweet time. Wait, what's this? 
this fish in a lobster roll. Mickey can't eat that. He's allergic. We might be starving, but we ain't eating this. Mickey won't eat something that might kill him, Scout. He wants something a little more traditional. None of that fancy garbage. You know what? There was this place in Woodbridge. They had an amazing slow meat. What was it? It doesn't matter. They had the absolute best fried chicken. So, give him some fried chicken. Don't just wait around. Go. Alright, but, but we have business first. He had an idea. Apparently there's this place called Greymist Peaks. Shouldn't be far from here. Vicky thinks you're... Well, both think you're doing a decent job. Listen, I've been asking a lot from you. Consider this our treat. A little camping trip for your efforts. Recognition for your discretion in affairs. I've never actually been camping. But we would do this as a gift for you. We'll take a look at some rocks and trees and shit. <laughs> oh. Camping in a Cadillac. Gangsta glamping. I like it. However... Hey! hey. Here we are, Bambina. You know I'm not exactly thrilled, but I've got to go. Mm -hmm. You bring me there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the best decision. Okay, let's go. Peanut. The second I saw you, I knew you were someone special. Someone who, no matter what happened, would always be there and do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I could see that in people. See the cracks in them. It's easy. Light shines through. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why I fell in love with Astrid. She was the toughest nut you could imagine. She had such an intense light shining inside, shining through, warmth and fire, too. Her laugh made mountains tremble. Everyone was happy when she was around. I was happy. I always spent so much time making sure other people were having fun. Making jokes and being the funny guy. They only came for her, really. Her majestic, raw, radiant soul. Mm -hmm. You, Bambina, you've got that look in your eyes. That soft, killer vibe. I saw so much of me in you. Mm -hmm. your bravery, your sense of humor, your gusto. I know it's hard doing what you do. Accompanying people towards their end. Mm -hmm. 
takes more than guts to do something like that. It takes a soul of steel. But hey, good news. Mm -hmm. You've got it. You've got it, Bambina. Even if you doubt, even if you don't have faith in yourself, mm -hmm. I have so much faith in you. So much faith in your strength. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Peanut. Now and forever. And hey, if you need anything, I won't be far. Mm -hmm. I'll be right there, standing beside you. I'll always be there. Always. I know I shouldn't leave so soon. Believe me, I wish I could have stayed longer. Right here with you, Peanut. Mm -hmm. Promise me you'll take care of Astrid when I'm gone, okay? Don't miss me too much, will you? I've never deserved you anyway. Mm -hmm. But I've loved you, and that won't stop even if I'm not around anymore. Ones who really love you never really leave you. you know? mm -hmm. Life is amazing, isn't it? A whirlwind, a tremor, a flickering flame. I tried so much to live to the fullest. Mm -hmm. I regret nothing. Nothing but leaving Astrid. Nothing but leaving you, Stella. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have seen you grow up even more. But here we are. All right. Pour yourself one for me, will ya? Ciao, Bella. Well, Giovanni. Oh. I see. You know, I think we used to get these scenes a little more frequently and I think they were spaced out a little bit with the DLC spirits. It's like me carrying boxes into a upper floor hole. with someone in their final moments.
meeting somebody. So you return, spirit fairer. Humbled by your confusion, your disarray, your fear. Time and again, you call me by my name. Whisper echoes of my essence to those too afraid to hear it. Stand before me. Hesitation floods your heart. You seek to tame, but you only serve. Now, you truly see me. See what I inflict on those you love. All these paths you've crossed, the souls you've embraced lives intertwined with yours, their faces etched upon your memory, You've opened your heart to the suffering of others, and in return, their spark warms your heart and shapes your fate. Every spirit a reminder, every spirit a goodbye. What do they teach you? Struggles, trauma, their memories, your memories? Are they saying their farewells? Are you saying yours? But you are not yet ready, Stella. These souls still need you. Carry on your task, Spirit Fairer. Soon your time will come, and we will meet again, the last time. to get the flower, but I guess I'm sitting here. Got, that's a mysterious constellation over on the far left. We've got Gwen, we've got Giovanni, we've got Summer, Alice, and that looks like a tool over on the far right there. I think I'm gonna have to wait till daytime to get that. <laughs> Mysterious seed. This 
mysterious seed is moving by itself. How odd. It must be important. I should find it. Garden. Quick. No? Odd seed. And Gustav's clock gonna look like. We need gold for it. Where to next then? Old Central District. You can go there. For you earlier. It should keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worse. Mm -hmm. I... I don't know how I feel. Should I be sad? Mm -hmm. Should I be happy? Angry? I can feel his absence. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's as if something had been fulfilled. Completed. You know what I mean, Munchkin? Mm -hmm. Am I a bad person? Is it okay for someone to feel liberated under such circumstances? Sorry, Stella, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Mm -hmm. I feel a bit shaken. Not lost. At least you're here with me. Mm -hmm. That's the most important. My heart is stronger because you're in it. Rat, rat, rat. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I think about the past a lot these days. All those images come back to me, waking me up at night. I think of all the horrors during the war. Mm -hmm. All my friends who died. The joy at the liberation. Mm -hmm. Of course, I think of all those children we hid in the basement of the factory. Granny Sue and I. I was so young. Only a few years older than them. Sixteen, seventeen, maybe? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize what I was doing. All the implications. All the risks. Mm -hmm. But I was young and I didn't see any other option. I couldn't leave those kids out there. They were so afraid. Mm -hmm. So small. And we knew most of their parents. <laughs> None of them came back. Alternating between the apple and pear pies for a lot of people. Let's go. That way. Have 
tuna tataki. You can taste, no, feel the rich flavors. Quite the exotic palate, Skipper. Um, well, hold on. Good, good. Watch if anything else comes by. Did not spawn where you were supposed to. What are you doing over here? Wow! Your hat is so big! And look at that cat! Wow! Am I in a garden? Well, you were supposed to be, but the game seems to have put you over here because it was confused. Is this a boat? <laughs> On water? Oh, this is wild! Catch this! It was in the ground with me. See ya! I have an obble, and you are in the captain's quarters. Yep. Yep. Hello? Stanley! You don't know anything about him, he's just arrived, and he already feels bullied by Mickey. Lovely. His mood perk is he brings us useless garbage. Huh. woke me up. Your room is itchy. I don't like to sleep in here. Where should I sleep? The guest house? Yes. I could make it Stanley's room. I get it. Thanks, big hat. Um. Alright, I guess I'll just let you run around on the boat for a while. While I go search for this acetate. There. Maple salmon. Hey, that sounds amazing. This rich is easy to boss people around. I don't even have a job and I act like a boss. My father can see me now. I'm proud. Know that, buddy? Cornbread! That's a good recipe. 
sure do. This is so intense. Look at everyone down there. Ants. We are giants. I think we are better than them. Come on, buddy. You've got someone above you. I can't feel my face. I haven't blinked in forever. Because of this gentle wind, I wish I knew how to get down from here. <laughs> what I saw. French fries and another bovine license. Okay, well, what's in here? for this acetate. Less talking, more walking. Doors? Whatever, dude. Found that. You. Oh. What are you doing there? I didn't know the circus was in town. You need to get down from there. You are not allowed. I paid good money to live here. Home with my things. If I wanted to see an acrobat, I'd pay to see one. Stop trying to rob me, you burglar. I'm calling security. Go away, robber. I mean, that is kind of standard procedure for a video game, but still. So I'm gonna need to climb up this big building and then go down to the Especially that last encounter with the bird, you and chat may be wondering, starting to wonder, how did Stella get this job of being spirit bearer? That question is actually answered if you sign up for Thunder Lotus's mailing list about the game. But I still won't say anything. There we go. Henry, eight years old. All right. He... All right, well, we've got an acetate. Peaks yet. We need to get through this, which we can't do yet. Wood ores. Got to ask myself.
there trying for bounce somewhere where we found it, but just couldn't. There's something interesting over here. Let's explore that. potato, why not? Stella! Uh, this used to be the guest house. Uh, and now it's locked. If I can interact with the window. Look, big hat! I did what you told me! This guest house is now Stanley's room! But it's not entirely ready yet. I still need to find a bunch of stuff to make it nice. Wanna help? Well, could you? That would be great! I need some linen fabric. I'm making something. I can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. Uh, have I got linen fabric? Yes, I do. Oh, and it's the soft kind! Thank you so much, big hat! You're the best! I can't believe I'm on this ship. I heard a seagull earlier, I think. That is so cool! Well, I think. Might have been a pigeon or my stomach rumbling. But if it was, that's pretty awesome. But... Hungry kiddo. Apple pie. Work. What's that? Is that? That thing has fruits in it, doesn't it? Fruits are yucky. No thanks, big hat. Exotic food? That smells real odd, big hat. <laughs> Alright, he's, he's gone to bed. <laughs> Probably good. Recipe for French fries. Let's make some of those. Oh, I need more oil. Crush some sunflower seeds. somewhere-ish. Fried chicken. Need gold for the maximum minimalist clock. wasn't actually going to much of a particular place, so he really be there already. Oh, we're at a tuna spot. 
Well, that's nice and all. A new place to get to. There's a spirit at this lighthouse. I need bounce to get to them. We're past here. had something in Nordweiler that I say a lot this way and see what we find. There's always been something particularly great about living all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad at me, Munchkin, but I did some fishing while we weren't looking. Good, I needed that. Morning, kid. Grub, finally. I can see it so vividly. Vicky was a kid. Young. Too young. Some piece of shit comes out of nowhere and hits me with a baseball bat. Didn't even see the shit stain. Body goes limp and hits the ground. Vicky red, like a tomato. Grabs a guy, who's still hitting me with the bat, by the way. Throws that asshole into the side of a car. Windows shatter. That guy has glass all over him. Screaming repeatedly. It's in my eyes. It's in my eyes. Blood is coming out of his eyes, and Vicky, well, he's just laughing. What a laugh. That thing could lull me to sleep. Oh. Hi there. Hi, Stanley. This place is missing something. Oh, I know. It needs to have a fancy decoration. I need something awesome. A treasure. Something that looks shiny and valuable. Toss to me, baby. Anything. A gift. Please, big cat. How about a mint collectible card? Sorcery the Reunion, first edition. Let's hope it's a black thunder lotus. Should be sold. Well, you know. Wow! So cool! That's perfect! This is the last finishing touch to my masterpiece! Super special awesome secret room. Might look odd, but it hides many secret passages and other types of cool stuff. It's my home now. Don't worry, I'll clean all this stuff on the windows. Nice, you got a ghost beetle in there. Hide it in your sofa. Probably didn't notice him. Ghost beetles are very good at hiding. But he's my friend now, and his name is Jacob. He told me he could see things no one else can. Jacob is cool. He's got superpowers. Maybe I'll let you play with him someday. But Hey, kiddo. French fries. Kiddo, have some French fries. What? French fries! How did you know? That's my favorite food in the whole world. Amazing, big cat. Wait, are you a chef? Are you sure you're not a chef? Is that restaurant grade mm. good food? Yum. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's start some fried chicken. And 
let's see where we've ended up. Because it deliberately wasn't anywhere in particular. Oh, no, we're just at the boundary of the map here. Actual boundary boundary. If we go into this storm. Over here. We'll take that vacation in Greymus Peaks. Sure, as soon as I can actually get there. this acetate. Oh, there's a couple of them here. Oh, yes, we bought one. Menacing sheep. Public service announcement. Always feed your sheep. Yep. My goodness. <laughs> it's a sheep in the garden. Okay, how about Henry, eight years old? A portrait of Beverly knitting on a chair. Aww. Oh, look at that. That's not a giant robot. That's me. I look so young. Oh, wow. He was drawing me knitting on that chair. Oh, and growing up made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that, he was a little monster. Hmm. Kind of kid who's noisy when the show is on, but calm during the commercials. Today, he just calms down. It was strange. Overnight, he became his dad. Brilliant and quiet. Real quiet. He just retreated into his thoughts. What an odd thing to think in your head at night. To dream. Yeah. Dream about. Stop moving again. Yeah, we're still right here at the edge of the map. Explore down here a bit. Fill in some of that dark space. I'm sure you could find something nutritious for me. Good. Go home. Keep skipper. It was nourishing. No, let's not get any more comments just now. chance. Got like a million eggs.
let's see. Timer. Yeah. Over here. In this far corner. section over here. That's okay. We're, we're okay with that area. Let's go with safe travel mode. Come this way. Have somewhere to go. Garlic bread. Good. Let's make some more of that. right now. <laughs> Beverly wants it. What's up, Beverly? I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? Oh. You remember, the kids and David and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Oh. Beverly, I think you're stuck in a similar loop that Alice was. Oh, my little farmhouse. That's right. It's right there. A job well done once again. Oh. Not everyone is good with houses. something we can make with salmon. Not sure. Rather see what Beverly wants. Oh! I know what I wanted to tell you. This man from my town was one of the two real estate agents around. He had just started and wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It was quite odd. Anyway, Turns out that he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but he was the lead salesperson in his district for two years straight. The local people did a big story on him. They found out that his wife was buying up all the properties. She had like 20 houses in her name. 
The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. Her dad had struck rich in oil. This goes to show you, you can't judge a... I uh, is... Well then... to know what's happened here. We've we've kind of gotten ourselves in a bottleneck behind the ability to gather ectoplasm. Part of that was because it took us so long to trigger Stanley's revival. So I'm kind of hoping that he's going to wake up and come out of his room and that we'll be able to dance as Oh, what was in that Fedorama package? Dear friend Madison, as today is my last day, I will be signing off forever. However, I am leaving you in your hands. But Fedorama are trying something completely off the walls. I was promised that this mystery box was all the rage. Try it yourself. What a great goodbye present. I didn't see what I actually got there. Spirit flower. You've probably wondered where I've been lately. I've been hiding out in my house. I didn't want to come out. Just like in a small town, word gets around, and the gossip starts. My walls are not that thick. I can still hear people talking, talking about me. This kind of thing, unwarranted gossip, I mean. It happened all the time back in town. People don't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. And we're gonna miss this one. Well, not really. She would always praise my hairstyle or the way I dressed. Compliments were always coming. This was when I had just lost my brother. Remember? I told you that story about that sudden brain aneurysm. I were totally missing this debris. Poor thing. Taking the dog for a walk, then poof, on the ground. Well, it was around that time. Day, I was at her house for a garden party and we had to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling too well. Any cocktails? He was such a lightweight. Well, we left quite suddenly, but I had forgotten my purse. I came back not fifteen minutes later and from the sidewalk I could hear. Well, she was talking behind my back. Talking about how I wore the same dress to two parties in a row. She said it in a very offhanded way. She was stating a fact. Everyone knows that she should know better then. That's what I remember. The way it made me feel. I didn't like it. This is how I feel now. Nobody likes to be kicked when they're down. I've been feeling like I'm losing my mind. And on top of that, other people on the boat have been talking about me behind my back. I don't want to put yourself in a delicate situation. Could you help? Lead you the rounds and see for yourself what is going on. Appreciate it. Thank you, sweet pea. That kind of constitute gossip. Dish the dirt. Talk to the other passengers. Beverly believes all the passengers are talking behind her back, saying nasty things. It's a lot of this. down here. Stanley, are you still holed up in your room? I don't understand. That nice lady. Big hat. I don't like when people say lies about me. This is 
not coming out yet either. Astrid, I know you claim you don't like gossip, but mm. Beverly, I have too much pride to insult someone I barely know. Let's just leave it at that. Sweet pea. Oh. Beverly, I didn't sleep well last night. My back was killing me. What are you doing? Oh. Are you busy right now? Oh. Oh. I didn't ask you to do that. I haven't been talking to anyone. Have people been talking behind my back? I don't think they would have had time to form an opinion of me. Are you sure I asked you to do that? That sounds like something you would do on your own. I might go introduce myself now. Hopefully you haven't ruined my reputation by now. Oh, sweet. Always trying to help out. Uh... Stella? Ah. First, let's get you some food. Do you like garlic bread? Oh. Thank you. I think you need a hug after all that, too. We both needed that. I think so. For me earlier, thank you. Oh, this rain will never stop. Well, not if the boat's not moving. We may have to just leave it at that for tonight. hold up a bit. Probably won't get anything out of him for a little while. And Beverly, um... We have two sunflowers. That's no good. Cycle the veggies one more time. Then that will be it for today. All right. So, as always, thank you again so much for joining me. Sorry, I was kind of tuned out to chat at the beginning there. Um, Twitch just added a creator's mode feature to their uh, mobile app. But uh, the problem is, it seems to disconnect from chat a few seconds after loading it in. So I have to look in a more difficult place to see what people are saying. I didn't, uh, didn't quite expect that it wouldn't be where I thought it was. So... I will see you all next week for more Spirit Fairer, and we will see what interesting things Stanley has in store for us. And we will see what uh, what's going on with Beverly. She uh, she might have more acetates to show us. I'm sure she's got plenty more to say. But let's see if there is someone around to. Micah is playing Total War, Warhammer 3. Oh, but he's doing that over on, on YouTube. Uh, Alright, well, Games Done Quick is playing Metroid Fusion, and you may be familiar with them from their marathons, but they do stuff at other times as well. So let's head on over, and I will see you all next week for more Spiritfarer. Thanks for joining me.